What is up YouTube? I'm Brandon and you are back in the Gillstrap Garage. Uh, today we're not working on bikes, we're not riding bikes, we're going to go over some gloves. I've been thinking about putting this video together for a while uh, because I've got a few pairs of gloves that I really like. Uh, I've had some that I don't really like and uh, I'm going to give you the good, bad, and the ugly on what I've been running. So I'm going to start, I got these a little shuffled up here. I'm going to start with my least favorite. I'm going to tell you about my least favorite, why I don't like them, uh, and then I'm going to work up to what I think is some of the is one of the best pairs of gloves that I've ever had. Uh, starting with my least favorite, when I ordered my first manufacturing vests, which I've got a, another video on those. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out. Um, they gave me a $50 gift card and I used that, I was in the market for some gauntlet gloves and I used that $50 gift card to get some of their gauntlet gloves. And uh, I don't want to knock these things too hard yet because I've only rode with them once. Um, they are a little thicker for some cooler weather riding, but I don't think they fit very well. I need to give them the chance to break in, I need to let that leather stretch a little bit. but. After I got off a, uh, after I got off the bike riding with these, I felt like somebody had just been squeezing my hand. Like these things uh, are very, very tight. I did size every time I buy gloves. I follow the size chart and make my purchase accordingly. These just have not worked for me very well yet. Uh, while we're on the subject of cool weather riding gloves, I'm gonna move in to these Joe Rocket heated gloves. These things are amazing for cold weather. Um, they're really thick. I mean, with any thick glove, you're not going to have that feel of your clutch, your brake, and your your throttle. But these things are going to keep your hands warm. Uh, all you have to do for these to get the battery out is peel this off, and your battery pack sits in there. You can pull both the battery packs out of both the gloves, and it comes with a charger that will charge both of them at once. So you can leave them on the charger, throw them in, and uh, have them ready to go. And I've done, I've probably done a couple hundred miles with these gloves, and I've never had them die. I don't know what the battery life is. Um, I didn't even do a lot of research before I got these. How I ended up with these was I traded a helmet for these, and I think a vest. Yeah, I traded the helmet for these and a vest. Uh, I ended up giving the vest to a friend of mine and ran the gloves and I love these things. I keep these, normally keep these in my bag. They're pretty bulky. They come with a big bulky box for them too. But when you need them and you've got them, then it's it's nice for getting through some of those really cold, uh, really cold rides. Uh, going in to these Joe Rocket gloves a little deeper. These things have three settings for the heat. You have a low, you have a medium, and you have a high. Um, even without having these on, if it's just a cooler day, if you don't have uh, the heaters on, these are still really thick insulated gloves and they will keep your hand warm. Next, we're going to move into the gloves that you have all probably seen ads for on Facebook, on Instagram. I saw these pop up for probably six months before I ended up pulling the trigger on them. These are the Fast Mask gloves. I read a lot of reviews about them on what people were saying about them because they, they only ran like something like 40 bucks or something like that. These are nice, they have a reinforced palm, they have reinforced knuckles. All the reviews say that they're really sturdy and I've probably got about 10 to 15,000 miles riding with these gloves. And like the first manufacturing ones when I first got them, they fit really snug. Uh, they almost would cramp your hands a little bit but they broke in really fast. The only downside about these fast mask gloves is that you have no control over your smartphone screen. Now I wouldn't expect to be able to do that with some of these thicker gloves like these first manufacturing or uh, these Joe Rocket gloves. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go back to that. But yeah, no, um, no control over your smartphone with these fast mask gloves. This is the only thing I don't like about them. They're not too heavy. Uh, your hands aren't too hot when you're riding with them in the summertime. The last ones. I saw the advertisements for these when they were being announced and I really wanted them. I couldn't, I, I don't know, spending $80 on a pair of gloves seemed like a lot to me and I finally decided that I was going to do it after I thought I had lost one of these. Okay, let, let me back step a little bit. 
when I did our when we did our Kernville ride, I lost one of these gloves. Uh, I pulled it off because I was messing with my phone and uh, trying to dial in the directions onto where we were going, and one of them just flew off behind me. I thought I was gone for sure. I already knew I had one of these, so I had my mind made up. As soon as I get back from the camping trip, I'm going to order these Thrash and Supply boxer gloves. A uh, friend of mine had ended up stopping on the way back because he saw my gloves and I ended up with both of my fast mask gloves again and still decided I was going to get these thrash and boxer gloves and I love these things. They are uh, really sturdy leather palms, they have a nice reinforced knuckle and you still have control over your smartphone with your left hand um, index finger. Now the advertisement on the website says that uh, you you may not have that good of function if you have a screen protector on, uh, which sometimes it's hard. You know you got to press a little harder, but they work great. I love these gloves. They're definitely broken. Uh, they're great. I would recommend these gloves to anybody. I've never ran any other gloves from Thrash and Supply, but these things work great. Uh, if you're on the fence about them, if you don't know if you're gonna like them, if you're having a hard time spending eighty dollars on a pair of gloves, do it. These put these to shame. Uh, let me back step a little bit. I'm really hoping that as the weather cools back off I can put a little bit more time in with these first manufacturing gloves and get them loosened up, get them broken a little more, uh, get them a little more comfortable. Um, but right now they're just, they're not cutting it for me. Uh, I, I honestly I don't see myself wearing them too much. Uh, I might end up picking up, I want to try the Odin manufacturing gauntlet gloves if they're still even in stock, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my take on the gloves that I run. First manufacturing, not a fan. These Joe Rockets for cold weather are awesome. The Fast Mask is a really great way to go if you're on a budget. Let's talk about price for a little bit. These Fast Mask gloves were really great on a budget. They were between like 40 or $50, I don't remember. I'll look it up and I'll drop the price down in this video. Uh, they're great, they hold up well. They serve their purpose really well. They just don't give you access to your smartphone screen if that's something that you are concerned about. The fast manufacturing gauntlet gloves were just over $50. I think I had a, I, I think I was out of pocket like tax and shipping for these gloves after uh, I used that $50 gift card that came with my vest. Um, I, I wouldn't buy these again. If I would have known then what I know now about them, I wouldn't have bought them again. These Joe Rockets, I uh, was looking when I took the trade in, they were definitely on the more expensive side. I think these rounded close to like $150. Uh, I'm going to double check that too. I'm going to put that price in just so you guys know. But you definitely get what you pay for. These are great. They serve their purpose. They will keep your hands warm on fighting that cold weather. I know there's only so much you can do, but these these are nice. And the Thrashin Boxer Gloves, 80 bucks, something around there. I'll drop that price in. Uh, I think these are going to hold up really well over the test of time. And uh, even after they do go out, if these are still in production, I will probably get another pair. I was a little weary about getting white just because I'm normally, you know, my hands are normally pretty dirty. Um, I, I don't know, they're, they're getting a little gummed up, uh, you know, a little dingy, but they work great. If you guys have any other questions about the gloves, go ahead and drop a comment and I will do my best to answer it. Uh, if you've got a product that you're not sure about or if you've got a product that you want me to try to review. I'll try to pick it up if it's you know worth the budget, worth my time. Um, if you've got any suggestions for me, let me know because my variety does not go very large. You know, this is about all I've ever ran right here. I used to just wear no gloves at all. Uh, but yeah, if you've got a suggestion, let me know. If you've got an opinion, let me know. Let's talk about it. If you like that video, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you are not subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys in the next video.